Greetings, everybody. Mi granja es su granja. That means my farm is your farm. Now, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please do yourself a favor and subscribe because I'm about to teach you something. Now, are you tired of eating vegetables, especially? Sorry, I got caught in a moment. Sukuma wiki. And after you've eaten, you you get heart buns. You're wondering, ah. Uh, so my kids never used to give me hard buns when I was young, but now I'm having hard buns. Now, most farmers are not following what you call the PHI, the pre-harvest interval. So you're having a lot of chemical residue on your sukuma wikis. But that is going to come to an end right now. How? I'm going to teach you how to establish your own garden. Right next to your balcony, even if you don't have a kitchen garden, we are going to do sack or bag garden, vertical garden. It's going to be an amazing lesson, so turn the cousin. So we are mixing the chicken manure with soil, so two buckets of manure and two buckets of soil. We are going to mix them thoroughly so that we can put it in our sack. This is why we say that is good. Like that, 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 mchanga, that is good. Now, to come and listen, I was asking me, mchanga, ni kavizuri. To chukua guni aletu, guni ando hili. We are propping it up with this avocado tree. I'm assuming your balcony will be your prop, the wall of your balcony will be your prop. So we support it nicely. Kaka endelea kuongeza, usiogope. Kinyesi chakuku na mchanga. Shailawa, ah, nivo kaka, nivo tosha. Now after you're done putting uh, or propping up your sack, we're going to put some water. Alright, so we're first making the holes. So the guni has a bit of water. So we'll be watering at least twice a week. No need to water too much lest your crops get waterlogged. Alright, 20 centimeters. Na chukua na dunga ivo. Like that. Alright. Do another 20 centimeters. I'm gonna prick it here. I have some uh, seedlings here. I bought them for these purposes, otherwise have a seed bed. Remember the last video I showed you? We made our seed bed and they are germinating very well. Now, this bunch cost me 100 shillings. I bought 30, uh, 30 heads of sukuma wiki, this is kale. I bought 30 heads of spinach. One is one shilling. So far we are at 60 bob, right? And I bought 30 of managu. We are at 90 bob. And 10 of tomatoes. So 100 shillings. Um, let's start with spinach because I think you guys now can tell I love spinach a lot. Uh, the holes that we've made, we're just going to come here. And we've planted. Right. So we planted. My finger is three inches, about three inches. Make sure it's deep nicely. Put some soil. Alafu, unashindilia. My dad taught me to do this. So, like I told you, 20 centimeters. I do that. I get my tomato, noyo, hii ni kamongo, na aja pale na iweka pale, na ipana, pale na shingilila vile, chukua nyanya ingine, tomato, tomato, what, which, which is it, tomato, tomato, ah, seme ni nyanya, cheni kizungu mingi, nyanya yangu ndo hiyo, masalili ukisema nyanya, sasa sema, ah, Nyanya yu pi uyo, yu wa nyanya ni shosho. Hivyo, chiji nyanya yu pi pati wangelea. Tuwa panda mnavu mwingine pale. Amna aja ukayo kisema, amna shamba, amna shamba. Narobi shamba la mawe. Haa, kweli shamba la mawe lakini. Waeza fanya jambo kwenye guni alako, wapanda michea yako pole pole pale. 
Kwa hivyo mama mboga sasa tumwambie nini? Mwambie kwa heri. No, children, listen carefully. I have my onions. The importance of onions and I wish I had them here or coriander. Onions are biological pest control plants. Meaning, if I plant my onion here, as I will you see me planting, I put in a chimba tena, I will a pale, vizuri, that's when I pan. No uh, snail will come close to my onion. If I had coriander or what you call dania, I should have planted my dania first. Why? Please, please listen carefully. Coriander or dania attracts ladybirds. Remember ladybirds, the small flying doodles with black and red spots, right? Now, coriander attracts ladybirds. So ladybirds come to feed on the coriander. But as the ladybird is feeding on the coriander, the dania, any aphid that could be on the sukuma wiki, or any mite, or any white fly that could be on the spinach or the sukuma wiki, the ladybird feeds on the aphids. So the trick is don't plant a lot of dania because the ladybirds are going to feed on dania washibe. Alafu watakosa mali bakukula zile afids. Let me do again. Let me, let me repeat. This is beautiful. Dania attracts or coriander attracts ladybirds. So ladybirds will come and feed on the coriander or the dania. While they are feeding on the dania, they realize, hold up, we've got aphids on the sukuma wiki. So they are going to feed on the aphids that lay their eggs and do, sometimes you find them at the bottom of the leaf. Any white fly, any mite, or any other pest that could be on your sukuma wiki, affecting your sukuma wiki, the ladybirds are going to feed on these aphids. But listen carefully, if you go spraying your shamba with chemicals or pesticides, you are killing uh, beneficial insects like the ladybirds. The beauty about this sack of gunia farming is that from 170 kg bag, we have 80 plants of sukumayuki spinach and managu and other crops. So if we harvest three leaves per plant per week, we'll have 240 leaves. So let's sell one leaf at one shilling. That's 240 shillings per week. So we do, at the end of the month, we have 960 shillings. All right, stay with me. So if we have 10 of these bags, we have close to 10,000 shillings of what I would call a passive income. I mean, don't you guys think this is very interesting us to plant our own crops so that we avoid buying crops that we are not really sure where they came from? This, I think, it's the future. Now, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Those who have, keep sharing this video. Thank you for the feedback. I'm loving it. I've been Caleb Karoga. Remember, ukulima siyo, ushamba.